Jean Cho's not such a bad town. And the Chinese food, oh, top notch. Besides, these kids got nothing on our usual Yakuza flunkies. I'm a night owl, so my work's just starting. I recommend you get some sleep for tomorrow. If you want to close your eyes for a bit, the couch is surprisingly comfortable. Yagami san. Can you? Gotcha. Yeah.
Excuse me. No way. Hey. Yep. Oh. Are you serious? <laughs> I owe you one. Yagamishi, remember those uniforms I mentioned yesterday? You'll need to put one on before we go. They should be a perfect fit. <laughs> After all, there's no information I can't find, body measurements included. Yeah, I don't doubt that. You've never been one to miss a detail.
What's up with those guys? They sure look like men on a mission. But for what? We will now commence our journey by taxi to Sewio High. Gentlemen, are we all ready? Remember, this case can open up a lot for us depending on how we solve it. So let's leave no stone unturned. <laughs> Don't worry. No case is too big or too small. We always swing the defenses. Ain't that right, Tom? <laughs> you know it. Good. Then let's get going. Ah, you must be the repairman. The chairman said you'd be here. I take it you know where you're going? Yes, but thank you anyway. Ooh, this place reeks of money. Uh, they are a prestigious prep school. Wonder if the kids are on recess. So, our first order of business is to analyze the layout of the school. The schoolyard should provide the proper vantage point. Let's head there. It seems this school's design is fairly conventional. See, there's the classroom building, and that must be the gym. By the way, how many spy cams do we have? Twenty in total, all of which feed directly to my computer. Think we ought to split them up between us? We could, but that might draw extra attention. We stick out enough as is, so people will wonder what we're doing alone. But if we moved in pairs, they'd write us off a lot easier. <laughs> Clever as always, Yagamishi. Huh. That reminds me of something. When a con man pretends to be a cop, they'll usually bring along a partner. It seems the added person adds legitimacy. Unless you're a natural skeptic. All that is to say, Yagamishi knows his material. Hear that, Tom? <laughs> you should have been a con man. Very funny. So, how about Kaito-san and I take half the cameras and you guys take the rest? Where are they, anyway? Right here. Now, these cameras don't see very far, but they do see wide. 150 degrees, to be precise. So let's try to set them up where we think a bully would be most likely to strike. So, we just gotta find the teacher's blind spots, eh? <laughs> You're looking at a natural, buddy. You would brag about something like that, Kaito-san. <laughs> Better stop before I blush. All right, guys, I think it's time for action. Okay, Tak and I'll start here. And you guys can work your way around opposite us. Affirmative. We've only got ten cameras, so we gotta use them smart. Shoe lockers. <laughs> Bet all kinds of team drama goes down here. Oh, yeah? Yeah. That's where you drop love letters to your crush. Or challenge your rivals to duels. Dude, what century did you go to school in? Look, whatever. All I'm saying is, this place is worth at least three cameras. That many? Just for the lockers? Yep. See, a school never has that many blind spots. So when you do fight one, you make it special. And this one's pinging my radar pretty hard here. Huh. After that, sure, let's do it. So 
Sukumo reporting in. I see you've set up a few cameras already. Feed is coming in nice and clear. You guys are doing awesome. Thanks. How's things on your end? We just finished with the back of the gym. Next up is the classroom building. Copy that. All right, Tuck. Just follow my lead. The boys will handle this floor. So let's go up one more. Gotcha. Every bully loves a good pair of stairs. <laughs> Pushing someone down them ruins their day pretty quick. You think it's really that often? Still, it is a blind spot. Yep. Close corners make for poor visibility. Making this a number one choice among assholes. You don't say. All right, then let's get a camera here. All right, let's move up to the next floor. Yagami sheep, are you perhaps on the second floor? Yeah, we're about to start setting up. Okay, we're almost done with the first floor, and we'll be heading to the east building after. I think we can handle that all on our own. So can you finish up the second and third floors here? Sure, not a problem. Splitting up for a bit shouldn't hurt. How about I take the second floor and you do the third? Works for me. Looking for something, pal? Yeah, I'm kinda busy, in case you couldn't tell.
Sounds to me like you want to get reported. Slacking on the clock. What a winner. Wow. Way to be a jackass. And who says I'm slacking off? We're allowed to take breaks anytime. Not that it's any of your business. Suspicious. Hey, suspicious. I'm pretty sure smoking's not allowed in school. Should you really be doing that here? Oh, uh, you saw that, huh? Could you, uh, keep this between us? I can. But in exchange, I'm gonna need this area clear. Yeah, sure, no problem. Just don't tell anyone, okay? Kaito san, I'm done setting up the third floor. Same. I've hit up every blind spot I can think of. Thing is, I've still got two cameras left. Maybe this tight corridor might be good. The teachers probably pass by without a second glance. Hey, Kaito san, don't you think we should be installing these in classrooms? Isn't that where bullying primarily takes place? You might be right about that. But we couldn't cover every classroom if we wanted to, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, fair enough. Nice to see you putting so much thought into this. So, as professionals, we'll just have to make do with what we've got. We should set this camera up wherever we can get the broadest view. How about the ceiling in the middle of the hall? Then we'll see everyone going in and out of class. Okay, Tuck, I'm gonna give you a boost. So make sure you find a good spot for that thing, okay? Uh-huh. You know, we totally could have done this during recess. Everyone's just staring at us. Too late to whine now. Just do what you gotta do and be done with it. saw them, right? Those kids who started trouble at the restaurant. You noticed too, huh? Classroom 2-2. Sounds like we've got some bullies in there for sure. That'll be a prime spot for the last camera. All right. Just make sure they don't see your face. Excuse me, but I don't recall there being an inspection today. Uh... Uh... Oh... Sorry to be in your way, ma'am. We won't take long. I understand. 
But nobody notified me we'd have any interruptions. Yeah, and nobody notified us this school hired such gorgeous teachers. You know what? I don't seem to recognize either of you. Probably because our usual repairmen were here just last month. Uh, I can't say I know anything about that. We're just here doing our job, man. You can call me Sawa-sensei, not ma'am. And you're in my classroom. Forgive me, but who may I ask called you here? So, this is how it's gonna be, huh? Is this how you treat people who work for you? I... I beg your pardon? You call us here, put us to work. Then you give us the third degree? Not our fault you weren't notified by your own school. Isn't it the teacher's responsibility to keep track of scheduled maintenance? But hey, what do I know? We'll just pack up and go. Uh, now, just a minute. I've been in this business a long time, and not once have I been insulted like this. We could have been in and out of here in under a minute, but whatever, you're a problem now. And you better believe we'll be reporting this little exchange to your boss. Uh, really, there's no need to go that far. You'll be done in under a minute? 40 seconds if you like. Well, if it really is that quick, fine. Then let's just take care of it. That's 40 seconds for the young in here, but I can get it done in 35. Right, of course. Please continue as you were. And I apologize for grilling you like that. <sighs> Consider it water under the bridge. Why ruin our bloody relationship over a little misunderstanding? <sighs> I suppose. Come on, Teach. No need to be so down. You know what they say. Nothing ruins a pretty face faster than a frown. What? <laughs> uh, ignore him, please. Like I said, we'll get this done quick and be out of your hair. And we're done. Sorry again for the disturbance. We'll be going now. The hell was that, Kaito-san? You forget we're working here? Yeah, but man, that chick's the spitting image of a teacher I had a crush on. One of my few good school memories. What, so that makes me the bad guy? All right, all right. Back to work, I get it. This is Tsukumo reporting in. Yagamishi, please respond. Hey man, we just finished setting up the cameras. Good, so did we. Could you and Kaito-san meet us at the gymnasium, then? It's empty at the moment. I thought we might as well check the camera feed and discuss what to do moving forward. Got it. Then we'll see you at the gym. Excellent work, gentlemen. All cameras are fully operational. So, now all we do is sit back and watch? Something like that, yes. By the way, Yagamishi, I noticed you installed a camera in a classroom. Did you find a lead there or something? Yeah, that classroom had those problem kids from yesterday. Thought they'd be worth keeping an eye on. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, nothing unusual's turned up yet. Guess we'll have to watch and wait. If there's any bullying happening at this school, this is a surefire way to find out. <sighs> Wrong as it is, 
There's something about smoking in school that makes it feel twice as good. You're awfully nostalgic today, Kaito-san. Yeah, well, my school wasn't as fancy as this one. Plus, I dropped out after a year. Uh-oh. Guys, check this out. I think we may have found something. What is it? This is the classroom where Yagamishi set up the camera. Class 2-2. Two, two. Them again. Now they're picking on a girl. Whoa. Did you see that? No, no. They're writing something on her? With a permanent marker? Yo, talk! Let's go kick the shit out of those punks. No way I'm letting that slide. Yeah, this is a problem. Hold on, Yagami-san. What now? Looks like they got what they came for. They're already leaving the classroom. Man, why's nobody helping her? It, it's like they don't even want to see it. Kids think this doesn't involve you? Let's go, Kaito-san. I want to see what happened with my own two eyes. Yeah. I suppose we should report this to our client. I didn't expect to find anything this quickly, though. But now, we have irrefutable evidence that bullying is real here at Serio. We'll have to take this up with the chairman and see how we should proceed. Tuck, that's her. The girl we saw on camera. Let's get a little closer and see how she's doing. Paging Yagamishi. Yeah, what's up? I've just reported our findings to the chairman. Could you meet us here? His office is on the third floor of the East Building. On our way.
Please come in. Huh? You're that teacher. Sawa Sensei, wasn't it? To what do we owe the pleasure? All of these men are detectives? Yes, and I'd like you to keep their identities a secret. These gentlemen here are Yakumi-san and Kaito-san. I see. Very well, then. I've explained the situation to Sawa-sensei, our homeroom teacher for Class 2-2. Why don't you both have a seat? I knew something was wrong, but I could never put my finger on what. The girl being bullied. Her name's Mommy Koda. Do I have that right? Yes. She's in the basketball club. And so are all those kids surrounding her. I wonder if that's where the bullying started. Sawa-sensei, you mentioned noticing something was wrong? Well, only that Koda-san hasn't been herself lately. Suspend him. Expel him. Kick those bullies the hell out of here. The video we took has all you need. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. For one thing, it would be quite problematic to use this video as evidence. Mm, true. The school can't just come out and say, we've been recording your kids without consent. Yes, and let us bear in mind, they still have their whole lives ahead of them. We cannot treat this lightly. <gasps> You're not saying we should look the other way, are you? Hey, last night you said the total opposite, man. If you intend to cover this up, let me just begin by saying... No one is suggesting we cover it up. Then we need to act now. We have no idea how close to the edge Koda-san could be. What if there's a chance? What if she does something drastic before tomorrow? Um, pardon me for saying so, but... Bullying is rarely resolved by the victim and the perpetrator coming to a mutual agreement. Thus, a third party must intervene. I presume you read that in a book somewhere. I can tell you from experience that no victim finds it easy to open up about their situation. Not to family, friends, anyone. It takes a tremendous amount of courage for a bullied child to come forth and seek help. So if we, as outsiders, are to intervene, we must consider the ramifications. Even so! No, I think the chairman's right. Making a big scene might only make things worse for Kodasan. Oh, come on, Tak. That's not like you. Someone's drowning right in front of your eyes, and you're just gonna watch him sink? What I'm saying is, we have to put a stop to the bullying without getting the whole school involved. What started in that classroom will end in that classroom. Uh-huh. I'm sorry, but did you say you were a detective? The name's Yagami. And you want to put a stop to the bullying, like it's that easy. Tell me, where does all this confidence come from? You think there's a real chance we could pull this off, Yagami-san? I do. Can you bring up that video again? Sure. One moment. I think the secret to stopping the bullying is right here in this video. Really? Then by all means, detective, enlighten us. You don't have to be so condescending. Nope. She's got a point. You gotta back up that claim. So what's this big secret you're talking about? It's those students sitting idly by. They're aware of the problem, but aren't doing anything to help. Well, yeah, there's a whole flock of bullies. Get in their way, you're their next target. Adults do the same thing, honestly. Guess we're not so different from high schoolers. Then we should hold some sort of trial and get the class involved? 
Is that what you're trying to suggest? Again, something like that would only spread the issue. And that would only bring more pain to Kodasan. Tell me, what is your suggestion, Yagami-san? What I'm getting at is that it's the silence of all her classmates that's empowering these bullies. On the surface, we only see students turning their eyes as one of their own gets tormented. They feign disinterest, or pretend not to notice, because remember, that's the safest thing to do. But deep down, it kills them to see it. Yeah, no shit. So if the class could just express that, the pressure would then shift to the bullies. We have to tip the social balance in that classroom, become the voices of justice, of social law. Then, it's the bullies who become the outcasts. Would they keep running the risk of bullying if it meant social exile? Hmm, I can see how you arrived there. All right, so where do we come in? We come in by giving the bystanders a voice. We're gonna be the spark that lights a fire. After all, the first voice matters the most. Okay, so what's the plan here? Tsukumo, how fast can you get your hands on a couple of mini-speakers? I want to put them in the classroom where they can't be seen. I can have them here momentarily, but I admit I don't really grasp the plan here. I don't blame you. I honestly can't say it'll work, but I think it's worth a shot. <laughs> I see. In that case, I'll be back before school's out. Chairman, I don't know what these detectives are planning, but I'll tell you this right now. I refuse to stand idly by while a student gets pushed to the breaking point. Do you remember what I told you about the student who committed suicide? That affected Sawa-sensei profoundly. Perhaps she blames herself for being unable to prevent it, whatever the cause may have been. I can see that. As the chairman of this school, I don't want to let her down. So please, help her, Yakimi-san. Help us all. How's it coming along, Yagamishi? No complications, I presume? So far, so good. Looks like most of the students have gone home. Do you have the speakers I gave you? Yep, and they're just what I needed. You're the man, Tsukumo. <laughs> How about we save the praise for after our plan works out? Anybody in the classroom right now? In class 2-2? Let me check. Hmm? Now that's odd. What's wrong? Well, that one's fine, but there's something wrong with the camera in the classroom building. The one on the second floor by the stairs. Is it broken? No, still getting a signal. Something might be blocking the lens? All right, I'll check it out on the way. How does it look, Yagamishi? Anything unusual? Let's find out. Huh? The heck is this? Did you find something? Yeah, a sticker on the lens. Uh, uh, Yagamishi, behind you! There he is! That's the pervert who set up the hidden camera! See, when you find a hidden camera, your first thought is to take it down. That's wrong. What you do instead is block the lens. That way, when the perv finally notices, he goes back to fix it and BAM! Caught in the act. I get it, Amasawa. Just stay back. Hey, what is it you're doing over there? I told you, he's trying to peep on us. Oh, wow, that girl's pretty sharp. Looks like we've been caught red-handed.
Come on, let's catch him already. Stop! Hey, wait! Are you safe, Yagamishi? Seems like you're in a bit of a pinch. Yeah, you think? Yagamishi, you should see a ladder that goes up to the gym's roof. That's my advice. Got it. Don't panic, but the school just contacted security. Several guards are en route to your location. Great. Just what I needed. Looks like you've made it to the rooftop. Where have you been watching from this whole time? From the drone, Yagamishi. I found a spot that's pretty inconspicuous. From here, use the drone as a guide and jump from that roof toward the classroom. You're gonna have to clear a big gap. Right. I'll try not to die. Yagamishi, it looks like some of the guards have arrived. You think you can make it out of there? <sighs> I'll have to somehow. But before that, I'm gonna need to set up these speakers. What? Even after all that? Yeah, I should be able to make a clean getaway. As long as I'm done before security gets too tight. Are you serious? It'll be fine. All I have to do is not get caught, right? Besides, I have the world's greatest hacker on my side. You know very well I'm weak to flattery. <laughs> but for the glory of Yokohama 99, I will not let you down, Yagamishi. Let's get this mission started. Better be careful here. Like I said, I should be able to help you get to your destination without incident. Make sure you don't lose that earpiece, okay?
Got it. Counting on you, Tsukumo. This was the shortest route to Class 2-2. Uh, nothing we can do but find another route. Give me a moment. Yagamishi, it seems the rooftop might be a more viable option. Let's abandon this route and try it, shall we? Yeah. No sense waiting for the guards to just give up their posts. Let's check out the rooftop. Aha. Uh -huh. Hell, another roadblock? My apologies. I'm afraid that was a blind spot. Well, shit. Yagamishi, how many guards are there? Hmm? Huh? There's just one. Just one? Well, in that case, let's just get that guard out of your way. You got a plan? <laughs> of course. Yagamishi, it's time to put that thing I gave you to use. You mean this ball or whatever? What does it even do? It's kind of like one of those anti-theft balls, actually. You fill that ball with powder or liquid and throw it at your target to blind them. Right. So what's inside this thing? Oh, just some peppers. Peppers? <laughs> Is this really gonna work? Now, now. Don't doubt the magician. Just take my word for it and let it fly. 